We made some custom clothes for popcorn and then this happened. A blob of ink hours before drop off. Nightmare, we needed a fix. This pair are for Popcorn's birthday and a Rudy festival in London. We wanted to create a fire effect running through the shoe and also resole with a fake welt. First up, we removed the famous Wallabies rubber crepe outsole. Just needed a bit of muscle and a bit of patience. Next up, it was time to dye the shoe and create a fire effect. We used leather dye dipped into shaving foam to create the effect. The graphic used the Unruly logos and we also created an 88 graphic to run around the collar. That was the year Popcorn was born. So we did all that work and then in the final hours, some ink drops onto the vamp of the shoe. There's no way to washing it off, it's leather dye. This was a nightmare. After some thinking, we decided to dye the vamp and tongue to hide it. We decided to keep the brush stroke effect and not dye it completely. It was a bit of a happy accident and we thought it fitted well with the theme of the shoe. So we saved the design and the shoes were now ready. It was time to go drop them off at the Unruly Festival before Popcorn was on stage. A quick Uber South. We got there just in time, backstage to drop them off just before Popcorn goes on stage and here it is, you can't really top this moment. Yeah. So everybody right here, come on, put a bomb, 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 bomb. 